But I always call it a ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a it's not a ballet. It, it's a dance of death. It's a sort of religious ceremony, uh, in in a way, and uh, it has two main roots. The one is. Uh, of course, uh, the the dance of death altogether, the medieval dances mm -hmm. of death, which impressed me very much, especially the one in the Marienkirche in Lübeck, which unfortunately has been destroyed by fire now. And uh, that was the one thing I wanted to do, and the other was uh, um, kind of accumulation of of. Uh, inside uh, that a new war was going to be prepared and, and that that this was ev evidently had to happen and so on. and well that was that was the, mm -hmm. uh, the reason for which has happened it. yes yeah. many times since then yes yes yeah. and you dance death on the first performance Yes. Well, actually, uh, that was one of the reasons for the, for, for doing the table because I wanted to dance death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did the ballet have a very political feeling to it? Did you create it because of tension in Europe at the time? Well, because of tension in Europe, I would say yes, but not because of Nazism or mm -hmm. this and that. That has nothing to do with it. Uh, it was very very strange. Even uh, among the Nazis, uh, the opinions were divided. The one one side said uh, this is a propaganda against Geneva, you see, mm -hmm. so it's very good, have it, <laughs> let's have it. And the others uh, said, no, this is uh, uh, weakening the spirit of resistance and, and mm -hmm. the fighting spirit, and so it's a, a morbid thing uh, and, and it must be banned, you see. I feel Green Table is never dated. Its subject matter is always important. Unfortunately. Perhaps, unfortunately, perhaps someday in the future, the subject matter will be something that we can say is dated and look at on as a museum piece, yeah. but not yeah. at this time. And it's a ballet yeah. that is universal, has universal outlook. And I think mm. that audiences can receive something from it, and somehow it stirs them. They understand what's happening, and perhaps they have participated in a war, so it's close to them. And I think that's very important mm. when, a, when a dance can do that. Mm. Also, I think that the way it's constructed, its uh, great simplicity of movement, its purity of movement, that I feel that you've captured the essence of what that quality that one wants to get, beginning with the table scene. Well, that was the idea, yeah. Well, it's certainly... To, 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 to have no ornaments in, yes. in, in the whole piece, to have no, no, let's say no, no fringes and frills, but, right. but to have just the, the, the essential uh, quality of, yes. of speaking movement. Right. Really. I feel Green Table is very right for the company because, in a way, it's our classical ballet. Not uh, in the movement, but in its stature. It's, uh, in a way, our Swan Lake or maybe mm -hmm. Nutcracker because it, to me, is a ballet that has proven its value. And it is a ballet from 1930. And since our company uh, represents the 20th century, it's a ballet mm -hmm. that was created. And I feel that we're also very, very fortunate in having you to direct the dancers because I think one of the most important things is for the dancers to have a contact with the creator so that they can invest the roles and mm. and do them the way they should be done yes. well uh, this is very nice that you say that and I, I would like to say something in, in in answer which is not a flattery I don't think both my daughter Anna and I have ever had more pleasure to, to, to work with the company than with the trophy. And, and uh, we feel that, that it's, it's not sheer incident that we came together and uh, started to work together. And uh, I must say, at many occasions, uh, the readiness of the dancers, the readiness of, of every single person was so striking and so touching that I can't say I, 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 had, I had nearer relationship to any company. <laughs>